Hey guys, how are you doing today? I'm just going to be showing you how I got this New Year's Eve smoky eye look. And I wanted to go super dramatic and dark because, and silver, just the basic nude lip smoky eye, but with a pop of glitter on the inner corner. So, and one reason why I did it, I got the full exposure palette. I still got some lip gloss on it from Smashbox and I wanted to play with it. So basically I played with these like that those dark colors and it was wonderful and highlighted and basically yeah I didn't pay like show too much of my skin like I zoomed through it or fast forwarded it and just kind of said I'm using this okay bye because I want to do a super in-depth foundation video because I'm rather enjoying my foundation as of late so I hope you enjoy it and let's get into the video. So here's the palette in all of its glory and these are the shades and I don't know why I kept moving them. Um, this is the 24 hour primer that comes with it and I'm just going to put that all over my lid and under eyes and it looks like I am like straight beating my eyes and tugging on them but I promise I'm not. It's because it's fast forwarded. So I don't know. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black, and this is just a flat brush from e.l.f., and I'm going to put this all over the lid and make it as true to color as possible, no patchiness. But at the same time, it doesn't need to um, be smooth either, because we're laying it out. So now I'm just packing on some black eyeshadow from the full exposure palette so that is the darkest shade now I'm taking the cool toned the cool toned brown like the light brown and putting that in my crease as like a transition shade because I forgot to put it on before I put on the black but luckily this does not budge and does not blend into the crease and as you can see fallout is happening don't worry about that we'll clean it up later now I'm taking the slightly darker cooler brown in the palette and starting to actually blend out that black okay now I'm going to take the black side of the double sided brush and I was breaking off it was double sided and put that more black eyeshadow on the lid to make it darker again and blending it out again now basically this whole thing is blending and darkening and blending and darkening it's pretty stressful and trust me I know it look it's starting to look like a really hot mess and it definitely will in a minute but I will show you how I clean it up but that is also why I don't have on any foundation, so just do your eyes first and you'll be good. Or you can put some tape. I just like, when I'm doing a dark, dark smoky eye like this, I like to do the foundation after I do my eyes. And I am taking a fluffy concealer brush from e.l.f. and really blending that out. Taking that brush again and buffing it more in a straight line, like not as like, I know, it's a process, like I said. Fluffy brush again from the e.l.f. Oh, and I've been using a wet and wild brush, um, if you don't know, if I forgot to say that. Now I'm putting some argan oil right on the edges. You can put coconut oil or you could just take a makeup wipe or some moisturizer, eye cream. And now I'm taking this little cotton round and edging it out. And I know I'm not in the frame, but you know, as you can tell by the one eye that's showing, it is done. It is there. Now I'm taking the silver, I don't know, awesome shade. That is like my shade. I'm definitely planning on doing tutorials with that shade. 
because I want to do my, I don't know, just my every, like my, it's not even every day, it's like my, I can do it within five minutes, I make a look that I love and it's super grungy, so I will definitely be making a tutorial. So just packing that all over the lid on with the light side of the brush, and as you can see, it's super glittery. Now I'm taking the one next to that that's a little bit lighter and a fluffy brush from Wet n Wild that's a little bit fluffier and putting that in the middle to make my eyes look as big as possible because let me tell you this eye makeup look just it's just dark and it's amazing but at the same time. Okay now I'm taking the two light shades oh and I'm wiping off my brow bone first because went a little crazy with that. But I'm taking the two lightest shades, and it's matte and a shimmer version. So I'm just going back and forth between the two to make the best opacity possible. Now I'm just blending that with the crease brush. And as you can tell, boom, I have face makeup and eyebrows done so now I'm just lining my eyes with the gel eyeliner that I put on the lid before and I'm so sorry that I'm so out of frame in this video I promise I'm just getting used to my new setup and now I'm taking the darkest brown and the small brush that is on the other side of the Smashbox brush and buffing that out and I really like this brush for your under eyes let me tell you guys it just blends it out so quick And then I went a little too far down, so this is me trying to fix it going too far down. Now I'm taking the white shade. Sorry for my eye face. I don't know what's going on with that. But the white shade just to blend it out really well. Now I'm taking the Urban Clay, Urban Clay, Urban Decay Glitter in Glam Rock and putting that all over my inner corner to make it all glittery. Now I'm taking the um, Revolt, I think, shade in the Electric Palette. Sorry, I'm kind of jumping palettes for the inner corner, but oh well. And just to make that a little stand out a little bit more. Now I'm taking the Kate Moss from Rimmel, I believe, and putting it on my eyes. And if you notice, I haven't curled my eyelashes because it curls your eyelashes for you. Love it to favorite mascara. Okay, Lydia, that's enough mascaring. Now I'm going to contour with the middle shade in the Kat Von D shade and light palette. And just going, and if you notice that dark spot, I don't even ask. Just contour away. And the reason why I'm kind of jumping and not really showing how I'm doing stuff in this video, um, face-wise, is because I really want to do, like, the next couple of videos, there will be, like, a foundation, like, base routine. So I'm excited. So now I'm taking Milani's Luminoso, and this is my favorite. Well, this is definitely going in my 2015 favorites. I've loved it this year. Sorry, I've, I don't know what I've done. I don't know. I was being weird. And putting that on my cheeks. Sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm stuffing the palette in my face. I don't know. Now I'm taking the lightest shade. And as you can my camera stopped recording, so I had already started carving out my contour, but then I, then I, like, watched my camera cut off. I don't know. Now my favorite, the Becca, um, Champagne Glow Palette, sorry, and I'm mixing Pearl and Champagne Pop together. Oh, it's the slow-mo. Oh, the glow. I'm sorry, I had to. Glow is wonderful. Mate, do you see that pigment? Oh my gosh, now I gotta skip. There. To on to the lips, I'm using the Rimmel Kate Moss again. Lipstick in number 14, and oh, I love this color. I love this collection. 
the nude is amazing now I'm taking um, the buxom lip gloss in white Russian and putting that on the center of my lips and that's it that's all I gotta do that was the video I hope you guys enjoyed my short on how to get this super dark smoky eye and if you recreate it on New Year's Eve or just rec recreate it um, I have my Facebook page and Instagram will be linked as well as my last four videos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, and also all of the products that I used. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.